Hello everybody, today what we are looking at is how to solve equations algebraically. Alright, so this is a lot of what we learn in algebra um, in terms of now looking at equations instead of expressions. So hopefully by the end of this session we'll be able to find equivalent equations and solve equations algebraically. So in algebra what we need to remember is we've got plus signs and we've got minus signs We've got time signs, we've got divide signs, we've got numbers, and we've got letters. So all of those things all combined all together. Okay, so what we really need to sort of focus on in algebra, and especially when we're solving algebraic equations, is what we do on one side, we must always do that to the other side. So what happens on one side of the equal sign, okay, always has to happen on the other side of the equal sign. Okay, so if we're plussing something here, we have to plus something on the other side. If we subtract here, we have to subtract on the other side. Okay, so everything we do is always gonna be equal. What this solving means is when we are solving equations, our aim is basically to get the letter, okay, on one side and the number on the other side. So we're trying to figure out the value of whatever letter or whatever prime numeral they're using. So an example equation that you can get is x take away 4 equals 16. And what they want us to do is figure out what x is. Now off the top of our head, we could just be like, all right, what number take away 4 gives us 16? In our head, most of us will be able to work out that 20 take away 4 is equal to 16. But we want to figure out algebraically how we get that 20 okay and that's what we're going to look at over here all right so first things first what i want us to know is our opposites okay so the opposite of timesing is dividing the opposite of dividing is timesing the opposite of adding is subtracting and the opposite of subtracting is adding so say we've been given this equation over here x plus 5 equals 15. now our aim is to always get our letter on one side and our numbers on the other okay so we want to leave our letter on its own so here I've got an x plus 5 and a 15 so I've got a letter and a number on this side and just numbers on this side what I want to do is I want to get rid of the number that's on this side but obviously we can't just make it disappear it has to go somewhere with purpose so to get rid of this plus 5 the opposite of plus 5 the opposite of plus is subtract so what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 5. But if we subtract 5 from this side, what we have to do, again, what we do to one side, we have to do to the other, is we're going to have to subtract 5 from this side as well. Okay, so if we subtract both of those, they now cancel each other out. Okay, so plus 5, take away 5, that's cancelled. All right, and on this side, I'm now left with 15, take away 5. What's 15, take away 5? 15, take away 5 is 10 which now therefore means x is equal to 10. What we can do is we can substitute that. We can see if that works. If x is equal to 10, in my equation, if I do 10 plus 5, does that equal 15? 10 plus 5 equals 15. So that means x must be 10. That means this equation is now true for x being 10. I've done this correctly. Let's have a go at another example. Here I've got x take away 5 equals 15. So remember, we want to get the x by itself, okay? And there's a minus 5 here. If it's a minus 5, to get rid of it, we have to do the opposite thing, okay? So the opposite of subtracting 5, the opposite of subtracting is adding. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 5, okay? We're trying to make this part here 0. So if I'm going to add 5 here, Remember, what we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. So if I add 5 here, I'm going to add 5 to my other side, which means now take away 5 plus 5, they've cancelled out. So all I'm left with on this side is x. 15 plus 5 is 20. So x equals to 20. Now for this kind of question, you would be able to figure it out. You'd be able to say, what number take away 5 gives me 15? You can work out that that's 20, but algebraically, this is going to help us when we get to harder questions like over here, which we're going to have to work through. All right, so if we follow this process, we have figured out that x equals to 20, 
So we can test out if our answer is correct. If x equals to 20, instead of x, we're going to say 20. So 20 take away 5. 20 take away 5 is in fact 15. So that means I've substituted my um, answers correctly. All right, here we're looking at multiplication. Remember, if there is a number and a letter written next to each other, without any symbol in between them, that means it is a time sign. So here, we're going to look at what is the opposite of multiplication. The opposite of multiplication is division. So what we're going to do is, again, we've got 8y on this side. We want to get the letter on its own. So we're going to have to get rid of the 8. Okay, so to get rid of that, it's multiplying here. So the opposite of that is dividing. So we're going to divide by 8. What we do on one side, we have to do to the other side. So we're going to divide 8 on this side. Okay, so if 8 divided by 8, that's 1. That's been cancelled. So I'm left with y on this side. And then I do what question I've written here. So 40 divided by 8. 40 divided by 8 is 5 which means my answer is 5. And I can test whether, again, this is correct. If y is 5, 8 times 5 is, in fact, 40, which means my answer is correct. All right, our last possible case. So we have got y divided by 8 equals to 3. So here we've got a divide. The opposite of divide is times, which means I'm now going to times this by 8. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I'm going to multiply that by 8 as well. All right. So because we've done the same thing, that has now cancelled. Okay. So now we are left with y on this side. 3 times 8 is, in fact, 24. Okay. And again, we can check if our answer is correct. We'll take y as 24. 24 divided by 8 is, in fact, Three. So that means that is correct. All right. So these four questions that we have gone through involve just one step. Okay. They all involve just one step. We just have to divide or times or subtract or add one number. What you will notice about these four that we're about to go through now is that there are two things. There's something joined with the X, but then there's a thing on its own. So when we do these kind of questions, Again, we're still aiming to keep our letter on one side and our numbers on the other side. So in order to do these kind of things, the way that I like to do them is I look at what's not with the letter first. Okay, so in this instance, the thing that's not with the letter is 10. So remember, if there's no symbol in front of it, it means it's a plus. So the opposite of plus is minus. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this 10. We're going to subtract 10. But if I subtract 10 from this side, I have to subtract 10 from this side as well. Okay. Notice how I'm using different colors. Different colors just help me see what's going on and what my working out is compared to what my answer is. So it's always good to also try to use a different color. Okay. Here we've got 10 take away 10. So they have canceled. I'm left with 2x. Okay. 26 take away 10. 26 take away 10 is 13. No, it's not. 16. 26 take away 10 is 16. All right, so we're left with now 2x equals to 16. And what you might notice is this question here looks very similar to this question here. So we have converted our question into now a simpler question. So our step two is going to be a lot easier. So now we can see 2x equals to 16. So what we're going to do, there's a 2 times x. So the opposite of timesing, opposite of timesing is dividing. So we're going to divide by 2. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. Divide by 2. Okay, so now that these two numbers are the same, I'm left with x. And here I'm telling myself that I have to do 16 divided by 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. All right, so now I've worked out and I've solved my equation. I've said that x is equal to 8. The way that I can check my work is similar to how we were doing it up here. So I can say 10 plus 2 times 8. Okay, so 2 times 8 we know is 16. 16 plus 10 is 26, which means 8 is definitely the answer for what x is. Let's have a go at another example. So here I have got 5a together. 
I've got three by itself and I've got a 12. So remember, I want to keep my letters on one side and my numbers on the other side. So since this negative three is on its own, the opposite of negative or the opposite of subtracting is positive or adding. So I'm going to add three. What I do to one side, I'm going to do to the other side. So we've added three to both sides. Because these two cancel each other out, I'm left with 5a on this side. So I'm going to write 5a equals... 12 plus 3, 12 plus 3 is 15, so we're going to write that down. And now again, I've got a question that looks back, back here, what we did here. So 5 times A equals 15. In other words, 5 times what gives me 15? Um, algebraically, 5 times A, the opposite of times is divide, so we're going to go divide 5. And what I do to one side, I'm going to do to the other side, divide 5. Okay, so if those two cancel out, I'm going to be left with A, 15 divided by 5, 5, 10, 15 is 3 times. Okay, so I've figured out that A must be equal to 3 for this question to work. So let's test it out. 5 times A, if A is 3, it's going to be 5 times 3 is 15. 15 take away 3 is definitely 12, which means I have answered it correctly. All right, next one. 2u plus 7 equals 17. So again, I've got my letters and my numbers. So we want to get rid of whatever's not with the u first. So that's the 7. Okay, so it's at plus 7. The opposite of plus 7 is subtract 7. So if we subtract 7 from this side, we have to subtract 7 from the other side. We've got to keep it balanced. So here I'll be left with a 2u. And here, 17 take away 7 is 10. All right, here we're back to where our second step is over here. So 2 times what equals 10? Okay, I can figure out that it's 5 just by saying 2 times what equals 10. So u has to be 5. Or we can figure it out algebraically. Here we're timesing by 2. The opposite of timesing is divide. So we're going to divide 2, divide 2. That cancels with the number. So I'm left with my letter equals 10 divided by 2, which we know is 5, okay? And again, that works out because 2 times 5 is 10, 10 plus 7 is 17. All right, lucky last. So in this case, it's switched around, but remember, that doesn't change what we do. Even though our letter's written second, it doesn't mean that we're dividing 3, okay? Remember, the only thing that we're working with first is the number that's on its own. Since 40 is on its own and there's no symbol in front of it, we assume, remember, it's a plus. So the opposite of adding 40 to get rid of it, we need to subtract 40. So if we subtract 40 from this end and we subtract 40 from this end, we're going to be left with negative 3x. Okay, that negative hasn't gone anywhere, so we've got to keep it with our 3x. And then 22 take away 40 is going to be negative 18. Okay, and then here, to get my letter on its own, we've got negative 3 times x. Okay, so the opposite of times we said is divide. So we're going to divide by the whole number that's in front of the x, which is a negative 3. So if we divide by negative 3, that means we have to divide by negative 3 on this side as well. So I'm left with now the x on this side because they cancel. All right, um, negative 18, divide it by negative 3. Remember, a negative number, divide by a negative number, is going to give us a positive number. And then 18 divided by 3 is 6, which means x has to equal 6. All right, so these are our steps when we are figuring out how to solve equations using algebra. So I'm just going to summarize quickly the main things that you need to remember. All right, so the main thing that you need to remember first off is the opposites. All right, so the opposite of each um, symbol you need to, that's what you're acting upon. That's how you're going to end up cancelling the number as well. All right. Um, you then need to make sure that when you are working with your numbers, you are first doing whatever's not with the letter first. Okay. 
So in this case, we're getting rid of the five. In this case, we're getting rid of the eight. In this case, we're working with the 10 first and then the two. So you're working with whatever's not with the letter first um, and then you're writing your answer at the end. To check it, you can substitute it back into where X was for your question and see if it works. All right, if there's any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'm more than happy to answer them. Give the video a thumbs up if that made some sense. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you, bye.